Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Who needs friends when you have me? Happy day, I am glue! <laughs> Today I'm playing a game called What Would You Do If? It's kind of similar to Will You Press the Button and Would You Rather? I actually saw Cinnamon Toast Ken play this game and I was like, this is cool, this is different, so let's check it out. What would you do if- What would you do if you are a psychiatrist and your patient tells you he intends to kill a woman? I do know that you can break patient-doctor confidentiality if they say that they intend to hurt themselves or someone else, so I would probably... Go with that, report the threat and lose your job. Really? You would lose your job for that? I mean, yeah, saving a life, but my job? My money? Tell him to kill someone you hate? Oh, oh, so you're not allowed to actually tell him- Oh wait, yeah you are. But you lose your job. I don't want to lose my job. Aren't psychiatrists like self-employed? Like, don't they own their own practice? Am I getting like too technical here? Am I overthinking this? Probably. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna report the threat and lose my job. 60% of people would do the same thing. It looks like a lot of the people on here are a lot more maybe ethical than the would you rather crowd because they'd be like, yeah, I'd shit on my mom for 10 bucks. What would you do? One body part had to go. Your tongue, your genitals, or your right arm. All of those things are absolutely terrible. Okay, if I lost my tongue, I wouldn't be able to talk. My genitals, I wouldn't want to it, what would ha would I be able to pee? These are all terrible things to lose, but okay, I like my ability to talk. I like my ability to genital. Well, I'm left-handed, so perhaps I'll lose my right arm. Yeah. And then I'll just get one of those prosthetic arms. Ooh! It's quite a split here! 37% of people would lose their genitals? You wouldn't really notice that someone's genitals were missing, so you could still immerse yourself in society and be like, Yeah, I've got genitals. You know, maybe. I think. You wouldn't know. So I I'm gonna stand by my decision. I like genitals. Do you like genitals? Hit like for genitals! Not my genitals, just genitals in general. General genitals. It's got a nice ring to it. What would you do if you had to kill either yourself, everyone in the world except yourself, or kill every leader of every country? Now, killing myself would not be a very nice thing. I wouldn't like that, because then I wouldn't exist. Although I wouldn't mind, because then I wouldn't exist. Or would I? Who knows? Could I announce to the world, like, hey, every leader of every country is gonna die, so just make sure you take care of that. Or just kill myself. <sighs> A lot of very bad people would fall out of power if I killed every leader of every country, but I'm just saying that to you right now because I'm selfish and I don't want to kill myself. I'm gonna kill every leader of every country, screw it. Bye! 63% of people would have done the same, so you can't say that I'm a terrible- actually, you, you can say I'm a terrible person. That just means we're all selfish. Okay, I'm gonna stop thinking about it, sad. What would you do if- You got the opportunity to visit space, have an orgasm in space, moonwalk like Michael Jackson at the moon, or sing Life on Mars on Mars. How does life on Mars go? Life on Mars. I guess I'd probably try to sing a song on Mars. Probably be like one of those moments, you know? Like when you're by yourself and you're just like, when a man loves a woman and nobody's there, but you had a moment with yourself. I'd have a moment with myself, but an orgasm is also a moment with yourself. I guess it'd be a lot more fun to have an orgasm in space if you were a guy, cause then it would look like a galaxy. Whereas for girls, that's not that fun. So I'm just gonna sing a song. Looks like I chose the thing that the least amount of people would do. And I don't even know the song. I don't even know what's wrong with me. What would you do if the house you are in is on fire? Save yourself, save the poor kitten, save all the people, but you die. Okay, what's with all these questions that I have to sacrifice myself or everyone else or a cute little animal or a cute little world leader? Okay, if I were to save my kitten, does that mean I save myself and the kitten or just the kitten? I wouldn't sacrifice myself for a kitten. Sorry guys, nope. The only time I've had good neighbors was when I was a child. Ever since I've been in my adult life, I've lived in very cheap places where the neighbors would always scream and yell and smoke inside. Well, that's not a reason to die. Should I save them all but I die? I don't really know my neighbors here very well. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean they should die. If it's a house I'm in, then presumably my family is there, and I would save my family. 39% of people would do the same thing. Yay! 32% of people would sacrifice themselves for a kitten. That's the real problem here. But I mean, I guess you know your place in life. At least you know, like, this kitten matters more than I do. It's evolution, right? It's natural selection. What would you do if- You spent one day as Donald Trump. Resign and become a wandering vagrant. Construct the great pillow fort of Trump. Or punch every other politician in the face. See, I feel like Trump already wants to do that and would do that if he could. So I would go on every single news station and I'd be like, Hey guys, Donald Trump here. I'm here to resign today and I only ran in the first place to really prove that all you gotta do is spout a bunch of sensationalist bullshit and you're the front runner. So I'm off to build a pillow fort 
I'll see you later. It's gonna be huge. Resign and become a wandering vagrant. 30% would build a pillow for it. Well, I'm doing both, so there you go. What would you do if- ISIS captured you. Oof. <laughs> Try to single-handedly defeat them, join them, let them kill you. Okay, well, I guess I would do the only option that seems feasible. Uh, I, I guess feasible was the wrong word. It's plausible to get killed and it's it's not- I don't think it's plausible for a female to join them. I mean, it might be, but you wouldn't be joining in the capacity that you want to be joining. I don't think. I don't know though. What would you do if you were the president for a day? Repaint the White House, paint it blue, hold a nationwide speech, or nuke North Korea? Mm. I feel like everyone thinks that they should have a speech and like get their voice heard. Actually, that's a good thing though. But am I qualified to have a speech? What if- I don't know. Let's have a speech. <laughs> Everyone here is like, I'm gonna take over ISIS, give a speech, paint the White House purple, save a kitten, kill myself after. Good life. What would you do if you had to live with a monkey that would become very aggressive unless you either had sex with the monkey once a month, have a loving, intimate, non-sexual relationship, marry it and become like any married couple? No. What would you do if? Have sex with the monkey once a month. That sucks. I don't want to do that, obviously. Have a loving, intimate, non-sexual relationship, but still, I have to fall in love with intimately with- I have to cuddle and watch Netflix with a monkey. And if I went and cuddled with somebody else, the monkey would be like, are you serious? I thought I trusted you. Marry it and become like any married couple. I'm not- I can't. I wouldn't- All of these are just awful! It, it makes it seem like having sex with the monkey once a month is actually the best option. Because if you marry it, then you have to have sex with it. If you have an intimate relationship with it, then that, you're, you're with a monkey. At least with sex, you could fuck it and be like, okay, hey, get out of here. I don't like you. This was the only option I had. I'm not gonna say that I'll have sex with a monkey on the internet. I would kill the monkey. That's all I would, that's what I would do. Then someone else would like jump in front of the bullet and then like save a kitten and then be like, you're bad. Fuck that monkey! And I'll be like, I'm not doing that! Ugh, okay, fuck, I'll do this one. This was the best question I ever had. I guess no one wants to have sex with a monkey once a month. I mean, it's a monkey. Non-sexual here, that's the key word. <laughs> I guess I will forever be known as the woman who cheats on her monkey. What would you do if- Alright, so I would never kill my sibling ever in a million years. That's completely out of the question. Um... <laughs> would I kill Kasich? I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I killed Kasich. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. 48% of people would kill themselves. Wow, we're- we're decent. We're decent people. What would you do? You had to eat cow poop, a pus-filled pie, or a human leg. Sorry, the pus-filled pie part, like, got me going. Okay, I can't eat human, first of all. Somebody the other day was like, would you ever eat a human, like, if the human consented? And I was like, you're asking that as if you would eat human, and she was like, yeah, I would do that. And I was like, yeah, it was, it was Melanie, it was Melanie Murphy. She would eat a human. <laughs> Just w watch out for Melanie, okay? I would have a pus-filled pie. Okay, wow, I'm sorry, I like, I get sick really easily when I think, ah, fuck. I was thinking about myself like slurping. thinking about myself just drinking the pie as quick as I could because you have to chew shit but I could just I could just oh my god um but I would have the pus filled pie even though you all have seen how that will end a fuss pilled pie there's got to be an evolutionary reason why the idea of eating pus is making me gag out of control human leg you could have cooked it but I'm not gonna do that so I'm standing by my my choice I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it one of these please it's not gonna hurt, unless you have public likes, in which case your friends will be like, Ugh, you like her? That's gross. And you'll be like, but I like her. Like she licks monkeys because she doesn't- <laughs> And she thinks of pus too every once in a while. And make sure you subscribe and give that gloomy subscribe button a bit of a pick-me-up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!